We just thought it'd be funny to wrap him up in plastic and leave him somewhere. Why didn't you tell us this when we spoke to you the first time? Because I didn't want Millie on my case. Mate, it's going to be much worse when she finds out he's facing two months in the hospital. Two months? He was suffering extreme hypothermia. Wrapped up like that, his skin couldn't breathe. Combined with all that booze, he could have killed him. Yeah, we wouldn't have left him out there if we'd have known. You didn't seem to have much trouble leaving Jimmy Munro. Who? The boy you lot hit with Warwick's ute and left on the side of the road. Hey, we didn't hit any kid. How would you even know? Because I was driving. Well drunk. Yeah, right, it was a dumb thing to do, OK? I know. Don't worry, Mr McKinley. You'll be charged for it. Look, fair enough, OK? But I swear I didn't hit any kid. I already told Millie, all right, Wazza was gone before I woke up. So why hasn't Wazza shown? I mean, that was his ute with Almost Married written on it, wasn't it? Yeah. It was just parked on the lawn last night. Where is it now? I don't know. Listen, Warwick's fiance is going out of her mind. If you know something, you should tell us. The party was winding down. Everyone was really wasted. I told him, was it a bunk on the couch? You know, he just wouldn't listen. You let him drive? Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, OK? You just wanted to go home. You gave me your word. Mount Thomas 900 to Mount Thomas 258. Oh, yeah! Yeah, please tell me you brought the handcuffs. I'm sorry? <laughs> Don't apologise, Vivian. Oh, no, fella, fella, listen. I strictly remember telling the agency we just wanted the chicks, all right? So you just got to you wait here. <laughs> What's up, my boy? What's up? It's time for your last taste of freedom. Well, this Bucks party is now officially over. Come on. Come on, mate, you can't let her do this to us. You've been a bit harsh, Suze. Can't we just ask him to quiet They're a bunch of drunks. We'll be back here in an hour. Hey, we can tone it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are we fellas? Everybody out. Can't you just wait till the strippers, mate? I said everybody hey, out. Come on, Suze. It seems like a reasonable request. Mate, how long till the stripper gets here? Hey, it should be your only tick. You've got an hour, OK? But that's all. <laughs> and you guys are winning your word. None of you are going to drive home. I do solemnly swear. Officer. <laughs> oh, he certainly is, darling. <laughs> hey, mate, <laughs> mate, just stick around for the show. <laughs> Mum said, um... Mum said that's how we always finished our secret conversations together. It's like the only way my brother and I could connect with my dad was through the love we shared for science fiction films. That's when my brother started to disappear. He never really came back. Shut up! Got a mark here in my van. Want to put it up? Wait, yeah? yes! What's the big rush? I told you to pass. <laughs>